Hey guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Figma number 315, Conan from Future Boy Conan. And this one's kind of like a random pickup for me, to be honest. Um, in terms of the backstory and the character, I probably know as much as Jon Snow, but I do remember seeing this when I was a kid, um, but I was too young to remember. But anyways, I'm a really big fan of like, you know, just small character that looks really fast and they have good articulation. I'm a really big fan of Figma, so I guess why not, right? Anyways, I'm here's the left of the box. Here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box, and that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. All right, so here we have the figure still in during the packaging and I just did a really quick Google search um, just so I can refresh my memory a little. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen the movie several times when I was a kid um, and it looks really, really good. It looks like we're getting the bare minimum in terms of the accessories. That seems to be the trend nowadays, but I think it's okay since this is our only choice for the character in the market and being Figma quality, I don't have any complaints. And let's check out the figure itself. All right, so here we have the figure itself and as expected from Max Factory, the figure looks great I love the matte finish from Max Factory like it always looks very very nice and everything looks really clean um, I don't have any like factory defects of any sort and I know some people still don't like the way the joints look but if you're collecting 112 scale like action figures I don't think you're gonna mind it as much but for those of you who really like statues and everything um, this might bother you just a little bit but yeah it looks very very good and let's jump straight into the articulation all right, so for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. Um, he can look up about this much, he can look down about this much, and the shoulder is just on a standard ball joint, and you can swivel over here, and you can curl about this much, and you do have a bicep swivel as well, and you have the ball wrist, of course. So the range of motion is very, very nice. I love it. And the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, you can bend backwards about this much, and of course, you have the softer material on the pants over here, and he can kick up quite high. This is very, very nice. I love it and you can bend about this much and you do have the swivel over here so we can pull off some like really really crazy like cool like kick i really like that from figma that's really really nice and of course you do have the toe hinge over here and you have the side to side pivot with the um the figma joints on the, uh, on the foot over there that's really nice and let me just find someone for me to kick yeah that's great and let's jump straight into the accessories. All right, so for the accessories, let's take a look at the default face first. It looks very, very good. It looks like he walked up from an anime, and I love it. All right, so next up, we have an expression where he's kind of like running away from something, and I think it looks really good as well. And lastly, we have this kind of angry, serious face, and it looks really good. I like this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one on. All right, so next up, he came with a rack of hands and interchangeable legs, and let's try them on. All right, so first off, we have a pair of display open hands and these are very nicely sculpted and these are really standard for import figures and it looks really good. All right, so next up, we have another pair of display open hands and these are very character specific, um, very nicely sculpted as well. And we're gonna check it out when we're trying to do action poses. All right, so lastly, he came with a pair of weapon holding hands and these are specifically designed for him, um, not your regular Figma holding hands because these are actually sealed off. You can fit other stuff, but it might be a very tight fit though. Um, and we do have the weapon over here, and it's really nicely painted and sculpted. This is actually quite pointy, so you have to be careful with that. And let's check out what it looks like when he's holding it. Alright, so here we have him holding the weapon, and it looks really good. Um, one thing to note is that this really is a very tight fit, so you might have to use some blow dryer or something, or you're going to chip your paint for sure. And yeah, um, except for that, um, it looks very, very nice though. I love it. Alright, so lastly, he came with a pair of interchangeable foot. Um, it's meant for him to you know, like kind of hold his weapon with his foot. Um, and let's try that out. Alright, so here I have him assemble with an interchangeable leg. And again, he can hold the weapon very, very well with his foot as well. This is a really tight fit. And he can balance himself very well. So this is really cool. It's like a pose where he's just like, you know, kind of resting on his own weapon. And yeah, I really like it. You don't even need a Figma stand. I never really use them, but you know, it's there. Um, yeah, anyways, I think that's it for the accessories. And let's jump straight into the size comparison. Alright, so for the size comparison, let us start with the SH Figures and Naruto Figures. And I think they look very good together. Alright, so next up we have the SH Figure Arts Awakening Goku and Gohan, and you guys can just see how small he is. He's even smaller than Gohan. And next up we have the Vulcan Lock Spider-Man and Diamond Select Venom. Alright, so next up we have the SH Figure Arts Tony Stark, Hawkeye, Kylo Ren, and Joker. Alright, so lastly we have some recent Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so overall, I really like the figure. Um, it's your standard Figma quality, beautiful paintwork, beautiful sculpt. They're just really good at making these anime characters. And this guy is very, very fun to pose with. Um, the articulation is really, really good. 
Um, the amount of accessories he came with is fair, um, but you're pretty much getting everything you need from the character anyway. And if you're a big fan of the movie from the late 80s and early 90s, you're gonna love it. Um, I do remember watching the movie several times when I was, when I was a kid, but like I, I think I was five or something, so I barely remember anything. And I like it a lot. So if you're someone that's a little bit older, I'm 26 by the way, and you do remember watching this, you're gonna love the character a lot more. And yeah, I think that's it from me. And do let me know in the comments what you guys think about the figure and the movie in general. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. See you guys later.